Always good to talk to Nick Hamilton. And the particular reason we wanted to talk to you this weekend, Nick, uh, tomorrow you're coming up to what your 70th British Touring Car Championship race start. Uh, it's been quite an adventure. What do you remember of the first time out? Um, yeah, first time out was, uh, was surreal. Uh, my first race was Croft 2015 with um, AMD. Uh, yeah, couldn't believe it. I mean, my, my, my life goal was to get into the British Touring Car Championship. It's such a difficult championship to get into. Um, and then once you're here, it's just as hard, if not harder. Um, but yeah, it was, a, it was an amazing achievement uh, for me to roll out for the first time for AMD um, in the Audi S3. It was sort of almost rushed, to be fair, because uh, I only went in for four rounds. Um, but yeah, to get the opportunity um, and to almost set that milestone for me was a, was a massive, massive achievement. And in the 60 odd races that have followed, what would you pick out as the racing highlight? Um, obviously my, my first points finish for, for Team Hard um, in 2020 was uh, probably a really good race for me and uh, a massive achievement as always. Um, I would say the most enjoyable race was um, Race one, actually, Brands in the 2019 with Motorbase uh, in the wet. That was really cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, touring cars is is full of roller coasters and ups and downs. Um, so we've had a lot of good races, um, a lot of mediocre, and a few bad ones as well. So that's what the roller coaster is of motorsport. Um, but I'm so proud to to be here and to. To have my 70th race start is something I, I never thought would ever happen. Um, so I'm super grateful for, for all my sponsors and partners to, to making it happen and uh, yeah, giving me the opportunity to continue following my dream. And up and down the pit lane, there is so much respect for the way in, in which you battle on. Uh, what have you learned about yourself, though, in that time? Um, that's a great question. Um, I've realized I'm, I'm, I'm a hard nut, really. Um, I don't let anything... Uh, Anything make me, uh, you know, feel down. Um, I, I'm, I'm my biggest critique as well, and I know that, uh, you know, in terms of fans, I, I would say I'm the most liked uh, person, but can be potentially the most disliked person from the fans as well. So, yeah, I've, I've really sort of learned uh, bits and bobs throughout myself, throughout my uh, my career here. Um, but I'm, I'm proud of where I am, regardless of, of where I finish. Obviously, I want to be higher up. Um, and and every every time I get in the car, it's a, a massive challenge. Um, but in touring cars, you're you're up against you know the best drivers in the country, some of the best drivers in the world as well. And um, you know to, to even get within a second of these guys is, is tough. And uh, you know there's, I think there's 29 drivers on the grid, and uh, 20 of them have been on the podium. So it doesn't matter where you turn, you're always fighting someone that's been on the podium at least once before. So. Uh, you know, a couple of more tents and we'll be in the top 15 is, is my target. Get some more points. Um, but my biggest thing is to, to try and remain in the championship for as long as possible, because um, the longer I'm here, the better I'll become. So uh, we'll wait and see how we go. But hopefully you'll be having many more interviews with me, Steve, as, uh, as my career goes on. You are very much part of it and a big part of it. You're one of the old hands now, 70 races behind you. Uh, all the best this weekend. Cheers, mate. Thanks so much.